What's going on everybody? Chase on Two Wheels here and uh, got a little update for you guys. This isn't going to be a huge long video or anything like that, but I got some stuff to show you guys and uh, we don't have a red bike rebuild today because I'll get into that. But uh, you guys know I've got the loner MT-10 if I'm in the frame. Hold on. Will it go to the MT-10? Go to the, show the MT-10. There you go. So you guys know I've had that MT-10 for a good while now. Uh, and I am very hashtag YouTube privileged. I uh, get loaner bikes from Yamaha. They just let me borrow bikes. I've been borrowing the MT-10 for a while. Haven't bought it yet, but it's coming. Uh, I did notice there's a lot of confusion. A lot of you guys think I've already bought the MT-10. I have not. It is still Yamaha's. And if you guys notice all those box next, boxes next to it, they just got me all of the accessories, not all of the accessories, but some of the accessories that uh, I asked them for. So these are all like Yamaha accessories for the MT-10, so we're gonna mod it out. I've also got some other stuff for the MT-10. The MT-10 is gonna get some love, I promise. We just got a lot going on right now. Speaking of a lot going on right now, uh, we also have a new twin in the garage. Oh, it's not framed well. Hold on, pause. I just picked up an MT-03. So a lot of you guys might remember uh, a few months ago, Yamaha flew me out to Texas to do the uh, press event for the MT-03. Had a really good time, got some good seat time in on the bike, but uh, they messaged me the other day and it's like, hey, our MT-03 plus press fleet got here to Atlanta. Uh, do you want one for a couple months? And I was like, dude, absolutely. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, they gave me an R3 a little while back ago and some videos that you guys really ended up liking a lot was obviously the first ride, we'll definitely be doing that on that. Um, but then the one month review of the R3 that I did, did pretty well as well. So uh, I think I'm coming into this with a, uh, I'm gonna get a one month review in because I've, I've told Yamaha this, but you guys know I do first rides a lot, the test riding of motorcycles and stuff. I only get to ride the bikes for about two or three hours that day, so, you know, it's really a first impressions video is what a first ride is, but something that me getting a bike loaned to me for like a month or two, it honestly is two months because, you know, we've got a lot of stuff going on, so it takes about that long to get a one month review in. But I told Yamaha, if they can let me borrow bikes for like two months, I can do a one month review and really let you guys know what the bikes are like having for like actually owning them, not just riding them for the first time. So. Looking forward to having the MT-03 here in my territory. You know, when I rode it, it was in Texas. It was on specific roads that Yamaha had decided to go down. I wasn't familiar with them. So I'm very interested to, you know, take it to the mountains, take it into downtown Atlanta, just ride around with it in general and see how I like it, see how the fuel economy is and stuff like that. There's a lot of things you don't know about a motorcycle until you really spend some seat time on it. Also, the fact that they gave me the ice fluo of the MT-03, which matches the MT-10 that I have currently, um, I am super excited. If you guys uh, have seen, recently we've been trying a new series called Here's Why, which is basically our like higher production quality, like it's, it's our top level of, hey, we're gonna give you guys some serious content in a really well shot form. So when Yamaha let me loan the MT-03 and it, they matched, I was like, bruh, would you guys be able to get me an MT-07 and an MT-09 all in ice fluo for us to do a like naked bike here's why video? I think it might actually be possible. So we're, we're working on that. You know, these, if you guys have seen the here's why is the production value is really high. So there's a lot of planning, a lot of shooting, a lot of editing to get those videos out. So we're in the early stages of that the MT here's why, I guess is what the video will end up being. All I know is if you give me all four of those motorcycles and you give me an entire day to shoot, we are gonna have some phenomenal information and it is going to look sick. Also, if I look tired, it's because it's early and I am. Okay, so uh, funny story about the Rex Bike Rebuild episode that was supposed to come out today. Uh, 
If you guys don't know, I have a team of guys that works with me, and a lot of you guys watch Trek Bike Rebuild, and you see like the bearded homeless looking guy <laughs> in the corner, and a lot of you guys ask, who the hell is that, and what does he do? Uh, that is Bo. Uh, he's been on a couple episodes. He's been a buddy of mine for years, and uh, he is our newest guy, team member, part of Trek Bike Rebuild Garage, and he actually does the editing for the YouTube videos. So uh, on Mondays, him and Luke come over and we all just edit. It's just, it's edit fest. We call it Edit Mania Mondays. And uh, Bo came over yesterday, yesterday was Monday, and uh, he started editing. He's editing, I'm editing, Luke's editing, y'all. So Luke ends up editing the same episode as Bo, but Bo episodes the YouTube edit, and then Luke edits the longer Patreon videos that we put over on the Rec by Karibble Garage community. Um, we get to the end of the day and I'm watching Bo's edit and I'm like, oh yeah, this video looks awesome. And then Luke looks back and he's like, wait, you're not editing the same day I am, y'all. I gave Bo the wrong Wreck Bike Rebuild day. If you, okay. Sorry, I'm realizing how much context you guys need because we're, timelines are all crazy. This is our CBR 600 right now. It's totally stripped down. We have like three episodes of Wreck by Karibu that haven't come out yet. We're just parsing them out. And uh, that's so that's why, you know, we've got a lot of content just sitting in folders ready to get edited. That's how like the confusion happened. So Bo edited the video that got the engine out, which is sitting over here. Bo edits that video, Luke's over here editing the strip down. It was a cluster shit. So, um, <laughs> uh, long story short, what I decided to do, since Bo got a video edited and he, it's not gonna come out for a couple weeks, I was like, okay, cool. Uh, Luke actually edited the right video for Patreon, so I was like, okay, cool. Patreon's gonna get this episode now, and uh, I'm going to just, we'll, we'll start giving Patreon content a week ahead of time because you know, it's it's because of them that we even get to do the show. They financially back the show. If you guys want to go check the show out, it's Wreck Bike Rebuild Garage. Uh, there'll be top link down below to uh, patreon.com slash chase on two wheels. If you guys enjoy learning about motorcycle builds and how motorcycles work and how to fix them, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity. We try to do it at super high quality and give you guys a ton of stuff for the money you guys uh, support us on the show. So if you guys want to go check it out down there, so yeah, when that happened, I was like, you know what, cool. This is a good opportunity for me to make an update video for you guys because I, I feel like a lot of stuff's going on right now and like I'm even having a hard time posting on Instagram. I have an Instagram at Team Tito Pics and it's like, I post there like twice a week right now because we have so many things happening. We've got all the parts for the MT-10, just picked up the MT-03. I've got, one second. It took for freaking ever, but I have my carbon fiber uh, Rurock Atlas 2.0. Uh, I've been wanting one of these carbon ones since Atlas 2.0, since Rurock released Atlas 2.0s, and I told him I wanted to make my first ride helmet out of it um, just because this helmet is phenomenal. It's light, it looks cool as shit. Uh, and I've been riding around in my Atlas 1.0 because of Y'all know what happened, it's thrown the whole world off. But finally I got my carbon in. I've been wearing this for about a few weeks now. I gotta do the review on this so I can, y'all know what I do to helmets. When I make them into my filming helmet, like wires and things are everywhere, it ain't gonna be pretty no more. So gotta film the review of that coming up. I got so much stuff going on right now and I feel like when I get into times like this where there's like all this back pressure of like, all this stuff needs to get made. But you know we can only make it make it so fast. Uh, I, I personally feel like this is like a pressure release valve when I can kind of make a quick video to telling you guys it's like, hey, we got a lot of stuff in the works. Here's all the kind of stuff we've currently we're currently looking at. It makes me feel like I'm more connected with you guys and be like, look, here's what's going on. You know, it's kind of more of a I don't like calling them update videos because those videos are typically boring. Uh, but it's it's really exciting times. It's just <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. Oh, that's right. And uh, been getting a lot of questions also from you guys about Wreck Bike Rebuild. Like y'all are asking where the CBR is, the 1000. And uh, we're currently waiting on a lift situation. We're gonna be upgrading our lifts. I'll show you the lift. You guys that have been watching for a while know that 
We've been running Rickback Rubio for like five years or something like that. We've been doing it on this little Harbor Freight lift, which the lift, this little guy is only like 300 bucks, but it served us pretty well during that time. But we're getting to the point now, we really need to upgrade lifts. This thing's leaking and it just, it's so annoying to have to pedal it up and down. It definitely works. If you don't have a lift, this is phenomenal. But if you're like us and you're doing major work on bikes all the time, it is nice to have a more heavy duty lift. So we've got a new lift coming in. We're gonna be moving this lift to Brian's house. That's where we're gonna do uh, the initial tear down on the CBR 1000. So that's why you guys haven't seen that. We're kind of waiting to swap lifts out and stuff like that. As you guys can see, there's a ton of stuff going on right now. And uh, I just wanted to kind of vent, get it out to you guys, let you guys know that we have so much cool content coming. And uh, it just, you know, bottlenecks. We got a lot of content and it, we just, it takes time to make it. So uh, hopefully you guys understand. If you guys are maybe entry level people to the motorcycle scene and you are looking into an MT-03 as your bike, uh, let me know if there's any specific type of videos you want on the MT-03. I know I'll do a first ride, like an official first ride. I know I'm gonna do a one month review, but if there's any other specific content you guys want to make, I know on the R3 I made like highway tests and uh, I think I took it to the mountains and rode it around. So if there's any really specific videos like that, let me know and if we can make them during the, I think we have it for two months. If I need it for longer, I can get it for longer, but currently it's two months. So so if you guys want anything specific during that time frame, let me know and I'll do my best to make those videos. And I think that's it. I'm, I'm not here to waste any, any of y'all's time. I know everybody's got a ton of stuff going on right now. So uh, I'm a run, got to edit some stuff. It's going to be a good time. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching all the content that has been coming out recently. And uh, yeah, I'm Chase on Wheels. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you like motorcycle content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cool stuff. <laughs> Later, guys. I'm going to go drink coffee. I need to drink a lot more coffee. All right, uh, outro crew. Not really a question for you, but just letting you know. I know some of you guys have noticed, been getting a little chubby lately. You know, the been gaining a ton of weight since the beginning of the year. Part of it is the virus stuff, part of it is life and stress stuff. Uh, might talk about it in a video, because it's interesting. But, I'm happy to say, the lady and I are now on like full on, all right, let's get back to our running routine, let's get back into that health routine, gonna start taking health more seriously. Let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna start taking your health more seriously. We got a little, um, we got a July challenge going on over on Patreon, so we're gonna give away a hundred dollar gift card to Amazon if, to the person that wins or that loses the most body percentage. It's gonna be a good time, something like that. Anyway, after our crew, uh, you guys stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next one later. Black coffee, guys. Black coffee. There's no cream in this. See, drink it black. That way you can fast. Your body doesn't have to start kicking into calories. I need, I need to go work.